I lost my arm in an, in an industrial accident in 1982. A thousand ton forging press overcharged itself and a jet of oil with a brass lug at the head of it shot out. And that took the hand, the brass lug took a hand, the hand away and then the hydraulic oil blew away the flesh. The hand is controlled by electro impulses taken from the muscle. And by me manipulating those electro impulses by generating twitches on the muscle, then the hand picks up that information and when I, gave, when I give it that instruction to go, depending on what level of, of impulse that I give it, I either rotate the wrist, open the hand or close the hand. I can stall the, the motors, I drop down the finger and I'm actually able to type with this which I've not been able to type with any other hand that I've had previously. My first limb that I had was very limiting. You could, you could just hold things, you couldn't hold a knife. So now I, I can actually cut my own meat as you've just seen with the bread. The things I can do with this now is unbelievable. I, it has enhanced my life. It's made me more confident. Uh, I shake hands normally now. It's bringing, it's bringing everything back. So the Cybathon is the first bionic Olympics, enabling people with the most severe disabilities, people who can't even move their fingers, uh, to compete in races that are inspired by daily life. My lab is particularly interested in injecting cognitive aspects into the design of this augmentative technologies. We want that a prosthetic hand is embodied, it's part of your body, not just a tool that you attach to your body. I am the pilot in the powered limb race. I'll be moving shapes from one location to another. I'll be carrying difficult objects it's the pilot skills and it's technology, how they adapt to an everyday, to everyday tasks. It's all timed and it's, it's a competition and I'm there to win. I had a tumour in my spine which completely destroyed uh, some of my vertebra and impacted on my spinal cord and uh, destroyed some of the surrounding nerves as well. Now, since then, I got operated at Oxford John Radcliffe Hospital in February 2012, and they successfully removed the tumour and, uh, and some of the vertebrae that was uh, impacted and placed a titanium cage, and uh, I now have rods and nuts and bolts up and down my spine. So, in that sense, I'm bionic. <laughs> These games are really exciting, and I hope this brings more awareness to sort of different sort of physical challenges that people may face. This wheelchair was used last year for the trial run uh, for Cybathlon. And the eye sensor over here um, is calibrated in, uh, to my eyes and it was very quick. And essentially I look where I'm going and the wheelchair will turn to that direction. I can really compare this sort of Olympics, Paralympics, and then you have Cybathlon. And I'm hoping that uh, in two years time, hopefully when there is another Cybathlon, that there'll be better technologies because more people will be interested and inspired from this particular event and they'll be able to take this a lot further. <laughs>